In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about sending your eBay orders with Australia Post and My Post Business. Including all the supplies we use, how we utilize My Post Business, and the system we use to never stop up on order. Step number one is choose your packaging, and we are using packaging that is not postage prepaid. So we are just buying the satchels or the box. We also have bubble mailers, a CD mailer, and a tracked envelope. The advantage of using the Australia Post branded items is that on the website you just select the size and you don't have to weigh or measure anything. But you can also use your own packaging, blank unbranded boxes or satchels or compostable mailers. You just have to make sure that you are measuring and weighing your item. Just make sure that whatever you do put in one of these, it remains under 5 kilos. Another option to consider when we're talking about postage supplies is using your own boxes. Now we pick these up from places like Bunnings and Dan Murphy's, they often have recycled ones at the front door. This will save you a little bit more money than buying these in bulk or individually. We also try to utilize recycled paper and bits and pieces to pack our orders, but we do also keep a big roll of perforated bubble wrap on hand so we can pack our items correctly so they don't break. Let's show you some examples of items that we ship regularly. Small items that don't need a lot of protection, like clothing. Let's use our Goosebumps t-shirt as an example. We just fold it up. We like to pop a thank you card inside and just straight into our small mailer. And then we just write a little note to ourselves on the front that this is the Goosebumps tea. And that's gonna really help us out with our process later when it comes to printing the labels. Things that need a little bit more protection, we would upgrade to a box. Things like hats where the brim might get damaged, we would pop it in and make sure that there's packaging in the back there to keep it upright and then also around it as well. And then we'd still pop our thank you card on top. When it comes to shipping DVDs, there is a bunch of different ways you can go. You can bubble wrap and use your small satchel with tracking or if it's lower value, you can use the bubble mailer. This is an untracked service. So you do need to use your Australia Post stamps and the information is on the back there for how many stamps you need to use for how much it weighs. So you do need to weigh it as well. Another great option for DVDs is this tracked envelope. You can get these for about $5 over the counter at Australia Post. Pop your DVD in. There is less protection on these, they're just paper, but it will never go in sorted with parcels. So it's pretty safe. And you just scan the tracking into your eBay app with that little code. Another option just for CDs is these rigid cardboard CD mailers. We would fold it up inside and weigh it and use our Australia Post stamps. It's an untracked service. So when we send it, we just go into our eBay app and mark as sent. And when we're using our own box, we're gonna put our item in, make sure that it's packaged all around it with paper or peanuts, something to keep it nice and safe. And then we're gonna tape it up. We need to take an exact measurement and we also need to measure our box. So our item is packed and secure. I know what is inside, how much it weighs, and I have the three measurements of the box so that when we go into my post business, it's all ready for me to enter it in. Let's talk about using my post business. It is free to sign up. We get discounts based on volume. We can import our orders straight from our eBay store. And once we're done, it puts all of our tracking numbers automatically into eBay. All right, all we've done here is we've logged into my post business and we've press the import, our orders. Now we've imported all these orders, all we need to do is go into them individually and update their size and their potential shipping method. Once we've imported our orders, we find our item in the list. We're going to start with this that I've labeled ETB. It's in an Ozpost medium box, and we just want to go to edit. From here, it's going to show us where we're shipping from, where we're shipping to, which is already automatically entered. And a really important part that I wanna show you is we're gonna use this reference section. We're gonna delete the number that's already in there. And that's where I'm going to write ETB, which matches what I've written on my box. We need to select that it is not dangerous goods. Any dangerous goods need to be shipped over the counter and only by road. And I'm just going to get rid of this extra description. We don't need to use that one because it's not visible. In the packaging type, we're going to use the Australia Post flat rate box up to five kilos and select medium. And then this is where we can select whether our parcel is going by regular post or express. We are selecting regular and it's also where we can add extra cover or signature on delivery. You can do the same for express just here. And then we are just selecting save order. 
This next step is the secret to our system so that we never ever mix up our parcels and send the wrong person the wrong item. So as soon as I hit save order, I am taking that one and I'm going to start a queue so that when I print my labels, the order that they print in will be exactly the same as the way I have set my parcels out. And then I just look at the reference on the sticker, match it to the reference that's on my parcel, and that way everybody is definitely receiving the correct item. Let's repeat the process with a small satchel. Reference on this one is Ness Open. So we want to go to edit. We're skipping past our shipping details. Their shipping details are all entered. And we want to pop that reference in. This is not dangerous goods. We don't need that description. And we're using the Australia Post flat rate satchel up to five kilos in a size small. I'm selecting regular shipping. I don't need to add a signature on that one and save order. And now that one goes into my queue to keep it all in order. There are two more things that we wanna show you. And next up is using your own packaging. So these vinyl mailers that we use to send records are technically our own packaging, no Australia Post branding. And so I've gone ahead and written the weight on there and also the dimensions. And while we're talking about packaging, we will be linking all of the different packaging and materials that we use in the description. Those are affiliate links, so we do get a small kickback if you use them, but you can find all of these items easily. So this time when we go into edit, we're going to go down to our reference as usual and I've written on there Madman that is the title of the album no dangerous goods we'll delete that one out that's just automatically imported from eBay and this time we are using my own packaging which we leave automatically selected this is where I put in the weight so make sure you've got some kitchen scales handy and then we also need to put in the length the width and the height and then it's going to calculate the cost for us. And when we go down to our parcel post and select regular, there we can see our discount again. And it's just calculated that based on the weight and size. So when you're using your own packaging, always keep it as small and light as possible. And don't forget in the queue. The last thing that we want to show you is how to combine an order. So in this case, our customer has actually purchased two items from us and I've got them both in the same bag and I've got both of the names on the front here so I know what's in there. So when we come into our list of orders, we want to find the one that has both items. It will have exactly the same name and address, otherwise you won't be able to combine it. We select both of those and then up in the corner here, combine orders. It'll confirm which ones we're combining and we go ahead and combine them. It's gonna take us back to the home screen, but now when we go and find that order, it's going to have both orders in there and we can separate them again if we need to. And at that point, we would go into edit as usual. Now that both of these orders are together in one, we can head down to our description, our reference number. It's gonna have both reference numbers automatically entered. I'm getting rid of that so that I can type in my reference that is written on the bag. No dangerous goods. And this one is in a flat rate satchel that is size large. We head down as usual to select our shipping method and that one is ready to go. And this is the last one I will put into my line and then we will show you how to print the labels. Now we still have some orders to ship but at any time you can go up to ready to ship and when you select that it's gonna take you to all of the orders you've already adjusted. I want to select the orders that I'm printing and then we need to pay. So we go to pay and print for those four orders Proceed to payment and this is where you will uh, save your information if you would like to or enter it in every time. Our payment was successful, now I can go to print shipping labels and this will be available for I think the next 24 hours. So I can also access these labels from my history and we are printing to our Dymo 4XL label printer today which means I need to select some settings. I want to print them all in a 4 by 6 inch format to the printable area. Do not forget to sign your labels or they will not be carried by air. And this is where the system comes into play. Now that I have all of my labels, I can just lay my orders out in the order that they're in. And these are all going to match perfectly. 
so that the reference on my first label matches Patagonia and Keen, and I just pop it on. The next one is Mad Men, and I always just put it over the top of what I've written there so it looks nice and neat and professional. They don't need to see my notes. Then we will have the Ness Open. And my last label will be the ETB in the medium box. Now that our orders are paid and printed, when we go into our eBay app or on the website, it's gonna show that that is now shipped and the tracking is automatically available to our customer. All we need to do now is seal these up, take them into the post office and hand them over. If this has been helpful, please leave us a big thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments and we will see you on the next one.